so this is map sat 2 so it's going to do the multi-spectral analyzer there's really not much to it and it's going to take time you got to map 75 percent of the earth before that goes good i got so many messages here about stuff that i don't care okay and basically yeah we're just going to put on sas we're going to punch it i'm so used to getting um kos going i just don't need to do that and we're just going to punch so boom and off we go and again we can or i'm going to go to the south it really doesn't matter if you go north or south but i'm going to go south so to the south and just a little sniffly to the west and then lock that onto the prograde vector we'll keep an eye on this all right so this is kind of a carbon copy of what you saw me just practicing so hopefully this will go this will go all right it's always nice to keep this locked onto prograde as long as you can i'm going to just turn off that stability assist for a little bit or lock it onto its current heading really then go back. I don't want it to drift too far away just because I'm falling over a little bit too quickly. Go back again. Lock back. Back again. <laughs> Lock on. And this is just all about keeping it from falling over too quickly. There we go. Okay. That's pretty good. I think again I'm coming a little bit too far to the west. But that's okay for now. What's my inclination look like? 85 degrees already so we'll start coming a little this way reduce throttle come a little bit this way don't want to come too far because I don't want this to flip out though we're past that whole max Q business Sun's coming up we're at 89.3 pitch over a little more stay a little closer to that prograde vector it's my time to that's doing fine okay 89.9 you in orbit and lock to the whoa lock to that you stinker there we go lock to the orbital prograde vector okay now i just got to watch this and watch my apoapsis it came out oh no it's coming out 90 that's beautiful there we go we got the sun coming up wonderful so we head on south And again, we're going to go for a 100 kilometer orbit. It does tell you sort of the ideal altitudes and stuff, and 100 kilometers is going to work fine. But if you're looking at the VAB, I never did look at that, but I'm going to stick with that. Again, look at my inclination again. It's gone back a little bit to 89, so maybe come a little bit more westward again. Just kind of hold that. Hold that a little. Ninety again back on program oh oh it just did that by itself i didn't do that that means we're about to run out of fuel too oh i should watch my apple apps this apple apps okay i need a lot more thrust now that we're on these little spiders like i said i think if i built this again i would um make this much smaller and have the booster do like virtually all the work but this is going to work fine all right we are in space and that is a hundred or darn close enough and i think that will do let's put a man yeah let's put a maneuver note here how far ahead of the time of that okay and we'll push up our periapsis. We'll try and get 100 by 100 here. I can tell I overclicked that a little bit. Play with the timing. Oh my gosh. I think we're really close to the right spot. We'll just do that. 
the very least, this gives you a good idea of when to start the burn. So we're going to start the burn in a minute and 30-something seconds. In the meantime, I can raise that antenna. Do that. There it comes. I like that little animation. We'll, we'll wait till we're in our orbit before I start the scan scattered thing. Uh, put this onto the maneuver node. Oh, I wish I had that smaller KOS core. I should find out where that is in the tech tree. Yeah, it's not a bad looking guy. All right, where are we? A little bit more. A little bit of time warp in. Okay, and five, four, three, two, one, and go. And we'll take a little bit of a look at ScanSat once we get this started. So people can, for people that have never seen it before, so that they can get an idea what it's about. It's a lovely mod. It's one of those mods I find that I don't want to ever not have. Alright, that's good. That's good. We'll lock that. And let's reorient this. Where's our planet? There's our planet. <laughs> um... I find the easiest way to orient stuff when you're in non-equatorial orbits is find that north-south circle. So either 180, like here, that's the south line, or the north line, and just rotate until your vessel, the following that circle, until your vessel is straight up and down on the screen. Because on the screen, north is always straight up. When you're in orbit mode and then you get nice solar exposure okay that's good let's turn this way so we can see this so i don't know if there's an animation associated with this guy or not so we'll just hit that doesn't look like it just turns on <laughs> nothing, nothing happens so this is now scanning for biomes and i'm hoping it's not collecting any data no the data is not going up so it's transmitting it as quickly as it this is generating it so that's why I put on this bigger antenna because I'm pretty sure if I put on just a communitron uh, I think I would be collecting data and eventually my hard drive gets full and then that's not fun so basically this is now scanning biomes down below and let's open up ScanSat and I'll show people what that looks like so we'll open up ScanSat bring up this big map view so this map view is showing us, um, it shows a waypoint, that's where the KSC was. So the blue orbit's what's ahead of us, the brown orbit is behind us, and we're orbiting like this, and we should, if I do a little bit of time warping, I should be below me, scanning biomes. Now I might, do I need to refresh it or something? Because now all of a sudden I feel like I'm not doing anything. Oh, I have to change this to a biome map. Map type, biome. That's the altimetry map. Biome map. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't see a map being made. Is this on? Is this on? The MITE experiment is running. ScanSat is running. Nope, it's definitely doing the scan. I'm on the Earth. Okay, you are looking at altimetry. Yeah, I realize that. I'm, I'm now going through the chat. <laughs> it transmitted it. Oh, it transmits it in chunks. So the way it works with ScanSat is it comes in chunks. So we might have to uh, let's do a little more time warping and see if uh, we get a chunk or not. I'm not 100% sure how that all works. And how it gets along. I know the science part of it doesn't get along that well with ScanSat. Or with the science part of... Okay, I got a mite experiment. 
Still not seeing anything. So you know what I think I'm going to have to do? Oh, wait a second. What's this? I just did it again. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting it. Okay. So uh, if I take the orbit view off so you can see this. See how it's, it's creating a mess? So this is Antarctica, I'm assuming, down here. We got an ocean. Looks a little funny. And if you hover over it, if you look down here at the bottom left, you can see those are the biome of the tropics. And I probably can get some... Oh, well, there's some ocean, there's an ice cap, and slowly over time, this will fill up the entire Earth. Right now, we're at 2% of the Earth. So, basically, very cool little mod, and this map is available when you're away from this probe, too, so that you can... Uh, oh, you think it maybe wasn't getting enough light. That could have been it. Maybe it wasn't getting enough light. That's very possible. It didn't... Okay. So, uh... Basically, it's working now. That's great. And when this gets to 75%, this scan set's done. It'll continue to do it whether the vessel is rendered or not. So we can leave this and come back and look at it again at a later time. But for now, I think I'm going to leave this. We'll get the other one up at the beginning of the stream next week. <laughs>